Tashida Bryant is marking a lot of firsts at University Health Shreveport. After 16 hours of labor, she delivered her first child, a little girl. And she's one of the first patients to get a tablet to use throughout her entire hospital stay. It's the perfect tool, I mean, to pass time. You play games on it, I can order like snacks and have my nurse to come in. It's called My Chart. From her bedside, Tashina can order a drink, new linens, or even ask for help getting into the shower. That has made things a lot easier for nurses like Mary Layfield. It decreases from us running back and forth to rooms multiple time. It saves us time. Although each bed is still equipped with a buzzer to ring the nurse's station, she says patients are using it less. But my chart is about more than just passing time. This world-class technology is about letting patients take control of their health care by simply hitting a button. They can see their schedule while they're here in the hospital. They can see information about their medicines and diagnosis. Tashina Bryant can send questions to her doctors through my chart. She will also find a wealth of information about being a new mother. I'm planning on breastfeeding and bottle feeding, so it's a lot of information about that. It's a lot of information basically about babies. I think it really enhances our patient experience. Whether When you're in the hospital, you know, it's uncomfortable, you're a little nervous and scared, and anything you can do to help educate the patients and let them be more involved in their care, uh, it's really a tool that you know, makes them, helps them be informed about what's going on with their treatment. As for security, each tablet is specifically programmed for a patient. And to access the information, a patient comes up with their own personal identification number. University Health is one of only 10 hospitals currently using this technology and the only one on the Gulf Coast. University Health is currently using 14 MyChart tablets in the perinatal unit, but eventually it will be put in the hands of every patient. It's the perfect tool. For the University Health News Network, I'm Ed Walsh.